So this week we have trainings and things, but we're also doing some work in our classrooms and we're also gonna be doing that next week. And I just wanted to show some of the things that we have gotten done. We hung up our Zoophonics yesterday and then they all fell down overnight. So I had to add more tape to the back of them. And then we got these yesterday, our worms. And then we got the kids cubbies set up so the top box is for their shoes and then their nap time items for the ones that are staying all day go in the boxes on the bottom they all have carpet squares with their names on the back for our socially distant seating we have our whiteboards here that all have their names they all have their pencil case items and then the parents are going to bring in pencil cases one of the parents already brought things in for their meeting today so there's like extra clothes and they just brought their own pencil box right now i'm working on this we filled all of our art center boxes and took pictures and printed them out and are labeling all of them just got out of the doctor's office i had to go in and pick up some test results from my appointment a few days ago just proving that i don't have tuberculosis for one of my employers i love these little i'm cool stickers from temperature checks so cute um i have some dirty clothes in my back seat that i'm gonna drop off at my parents house because they live really close to here and i'm still house sitting and then i'm gonna go back to the house and have a chill night and tomorrow's a Friday but it really is kind of the start of the weekend for me which I need I need just a chill weekend so I've had a very chill slow morning I didn't set an alarm clock I woke up at like 9 30 I've just kind of been hanging out I did my skincare I did some jade rolling and gua sha and I have a little pimple so I'm wearing a sticker and I purposely just didn't schedule a lot for this weekend. Only thing I have is I'm getting my eyelashes fixed tonight because I have had some really bad allergies and it definitely took a toll on my eyelashes, but I'm still house sitting and so I thought I would show you like farming and cleaning and all of that good stuff. Okay, so I bought these when we went to the zoo. And I think I'm going to try the one. I've had crickets before, but not these ones. Okay. It's not bad. It's really, really, really salty. And kind of just tastes like a dried sunflower seed or like a peanut. The ones that I've had before, I had at Mariner's Games. And they were made there fresh. And they were like spicy lime. And those I liked a lot better because, I don't know, these just taste like salt and dust, kind of. Hi guys, it is Editing Ronwin hopping in to say hi. Instead of recording a clip at the beginning of the vlog or at the end of the vlog, I kind of wanted to just let these clips speak for themselves. And I just thought I'd pop in here on voiceover during these clips of me tending the garden and taking care of plants and nurturing plants. I thought I'd talk a little bit about nurturing myself and taking care of myself. So my intent behind these clips that were recorded last week, this is a little bit of Thursday through Saturday, is just to find balance in this new season of life. Life has been starting up again for me very gradually over the past few weeks. I started a new job managing some social media and then a little clips that you saw here of working in a kindergarten and it's all wonderful things, but it's a lot. And I'm going back to school this fall and a lot of anxiety. I've just had a lot of anxiety around how am I going to find time to prioritize me and just take care of myself and tend to myself. And as I was watering these plants, I realized that the way we take care of ourselves is really similar to how we can take care of these 
plants, which I know sounds kind of silly, but think of it like this. When you water plants and feed them that way, you are maybe spending about 20 minutes, five to 20 minutes a day watering those plants. That is not a lot of time, but that little bit of time that you took to nurture those plants really does benefit them and they spend the rest of the day soaking up that water and they use it to grow and to flourish and I think that's a great example for how we can take care of ourselves. So in talking with my therapist I have kind of put together a game plan for this fall. Oh my gosh look at that cat. I'm getting distracted. (laughs) So cute. Um (laughs) Okay, time to put that cat down because I was getting distracted. But basically, to sum it up, this fall, I have put together a plan for ways to take care of myself so that can be better for the people I'm interacting with at work and be better for those kids and for the teenagers that I am working with. And then also just get the most out of school. So I'm really separating it between daily and weekly rests. So daily, things that I'm going to do to take care of myself is sleep prioritizing sleep going to bed at a decent hour and then waking up with enough time to do my morning so planning that accordingly i'm someone who needs a lot of sleep i need like eight to ten hours of sleep if i get less than eight i am not a pleasant person to be around and it also just affects my like cognitive ability and then the other two things that i'm going to do are move my body intentionally helps so much with my mood helps so much with my focus like yoga running pilates any kind of intentional movement a day even if it's just 10 minutes and then the final thing i'm going to try and do daily is fuel my body but not just with healthy foods like greens and fruits and proteins carbs fats all those wonderful things but soul food eating cookies and cheesecake. I've been loving Trader Joe's dairy-free cheesecake lately. So good. And just finding a balance between fueling my my soul with food, but also fueling my body. And then the final thing is weekly habits. And the biggest weekly habit is just doing nothing. I have one day a week that I have scheduled nothing. This can be for homework, this can be for a nap, whatever I need. And that is my game plan for the fall. And this is just a little glimpse of me figuring that out. And I'm gonna chat more about it in future vlogs, but I did wanna sit down and just kind of elaborate on what I've been discovering is gonna work for this year. So there are multiple garden areas where I'll move the sprinkler to. And over here is mostly different greens, lettuce, there's broccoli over here. And then over there are the tomato plants and squashes, which you saw me watering. Over here we have beets and carrots and beans and tomatoes and different squashes. Over here where I have the sprinkler today, we have different peppers, berries, A little bit more random stuff, and then the chicken coops are up there. So all day, I just have been moving very slowly, and I'm just tired, and I thought, you know, since this whole weekend is supposed to be about rest, why not do something I haven't done in forever and take a nap? So I'm going to try to take a nap, and we'll see if I actually sleep or not, but, um... I'm just going to rest. Hi. I took like a two hour nap and then I laid here for a little bit and did some work for social media that I manage. I did some editing for some story posts. We're doing like a five day countdown for something um, in our stories and I had to design those and create those. So I did that. And now I need to shower, maybe eat something, and then go get my eyelashes done. But the nap was 
just what I needed. So just got my eyelashes filled. We only had time for a mini appointment, so she didn't get every single one, but she got all the holes filled in, which is good. And then I still have my normal appointment um, in a couple of days. But every single time I get my eyelashes done, I go to Trader Joe's because it's right there. And I've heard everybody raving about these and I forgot to pick them up on my last trip. So I got them. I got the Cheeseless Cheesecakes. They're dairy free. And guys, I'm so excited because I love cheesecake. I actually got two boxes of these because if they're as good as everybody says they are, I want to just have them in my freezer. And I also got a bunch of other things, but I'll show you all of that when we get home. <laughs> you good? Okay, these cheesecakes are so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Way to go, Trader Joe's. Good job. All right, I do have a bag of groceries and I wanted to show you the other things that I got. So I picked up some figs, green figs, which are supposed to be very sweet. We will see. I've heard a lot of people talking about this, so I thought I would try it. Vegan Caesar salad dressing. My favorite gluten-free pasta of all time, the brown rice and quinoa silly pasta um I did the normal cauliflower gnocchi in the air fryer and it was really good so I wanted to try that with the sweet potato one last time I was there I said that I couldn't find my cashew yogurt but they were just out of it because they had it this time so I got vanilla and strawberry I got some jicama sticks because I have some hummus that I just needed something to dip it in and these are really good. No kitty, you can't go in the bag yet. No, 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 no. There you go. I got the pork shumai dumplings. These are really good and I never hear anyone talk about them. This cat is like in the bag right now. I got three different wellness shots because I figured why not try them. I got Someone told me how to say this. Acriola, acarola, acerola, like I don't know how you say that. And then I got turmeric or turmeric, however you say it, and ginger. Oh my goodness, you're crazy. And then I got the everything but the gluten crackers, which is just such a cute name. Please don't knock down the camera. The cat is like right. Oh my goodness. So I got those for, I have some soft vegan cheese that's meant for dipping that I thought those would go really good with. I got some beefless ground beef because I thought I would try that with some dinners that I have planned. I got some zucchini spirals because it's been a while since I've had zucchini pasta. And I got a second box of the cheesecakes. And then I got my favorite, the green tea mints. These are so good. So yeah, that's my little Trader Joe's haul. Oh my gosh. Hi, it's me again, popping in. So in this clip here, I'm just watering basil plants, but I did have my workout gear on and I totally forgot to film it. But just for you camp people, I the whole time I was staying at camp and house sitting, I was running the River Run 5K route, which is a run that we do every year to raise funds for kiddos to go to camp. And guys, I never ever thought I would say this, I think I like running. But that being said, thank you for watching. I know the video's not done yet, but I didn't film the proper outro for this. So I just wanted to say thank you for spending time with me. I know I'm still figuring out this vlogging thing. Good morning, or I guess it's afternoon now. Yeah, it's afternoon. Um, I just finished watering all the gardens and feeding the animals. And I got a text today from the people who own the house that I'm staying at and house sitting for that they're gonna try and make it home by tomorrow, um, which is a day earlier than expected, but I was planning on cleaning all day today anyway, so it works out pretty well. Um, so I'm just gonna spend all day deep cleaning the house, 
Um, but the camp director's wife, who they also live on camp, came over and she invited me over for lunch. So I'm gonna go visit the Moyers. If you guys are camp people, Jack and Sarah, I'm gonna go have lunch with them. And then, yeah, cleaning and moving stuff back to my house pretty much all day. So for those of you who know camp, look at this. This is a rare sight. A green soccer ball in August. Normally, it looks like the hill over there does because campers line up here for meals. It's just, if you know camp, this will blow your mind. <laughs> I love walking around camp reminiscing when we were in middle school, we would always sit here at the well and watch the boys play soccer and frisbee in the soccer bowl. And over there on the jungle gym was the best spot for Bible time. The Gaga pit. When I was in elementary school, I loved the slide. I wanted to show off the new girls' cabins they've repainted. And look at all of the matching um, curtains. So cute. They've replaced the rickety old stairs. And I've slept in every one of these cabins over the years. But I want to show you the cabin where I was a counselor for two summers in this cabin. Cabin two. This is where I was a counselor. Let's go in. So this is the cabin and I'd always decorate it super cute. I always slept right here because I had room here for the closet. This was always my bathroom and then that was the camper bathroom. So many good memories. Cabin one was my first cabin as a camper back in 2007. Me and my sister were in cabin zero for three years in a row. They, you can see over there, have replaced the bell tower. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll go over there later. And then there's the lodge and the cat. <laughs> Has the best memories of this place. The victory circle where we would sing worship songs on the last night of camp. So some of you might be surprised to hear this, but up that hill up there is the boy cabins. And I have actually slept up there a couple of times. And we as staff would sleep up there when we had staff training and family camp. And then um, when I did some lifeguard trainings, we also slept up there, but I can't go show you up there right now because Jack is replacing the cement and there's wet cement up there. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry I haven't vlogged much today. I've been cleaning like crazy. I've been moving my stuff out of the house and taking it home, um, but I've also been like, I swept all the floors, mopped all the floors, deep cleaned all the bathrooms. I dusted the entire house, vacuumed the entire house, cleaned all the bedding, cleaned all the towels did all the dishes, I cleaned the oven, I cleaned the microwave, I cleaned out the fridge. Just kind of deep clean the entire house. Whenever I stay anywhere or watch someone's home, I wanna make sure I leave it as nice as possible. I stopped and I bought these beautiful flowers. I'll give you a better show of them in a minute. But um, the woman was so nice, I bought these from her and then she gave me a smaller bouquet for myself for free when I told her I was buying these for someone. And I just have, I'll show them both to you. They're so cute. So this is the bouquet that I bought that I'm gonna leave here on their dining room table. Isn't it just gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So beautiful. And it's just huge, I love it. And it's starting to get dark, but you can still see it. This is the bouquet. It's a little bit smaller, but it's just simple and cute. And she gave me this for free, so sweet. So before it gets dark, I wanted to show you guys the view 
of the lower part of camp from the deck. So over there is a skate park. The pool is over there. I would lifeguard there for summers. And then here's a pavilion where we do crafts. And then there's the rec center over there, the boating pond, archery is back in the woods back there, slip and slide. And then you can see the Snoqualmie River where we do tubing with the high schoolers. And if you go down that path, there's dirt boards. It's just so cool being at camp. And I have come up a lot um, throughout the summer, even though we haven't had camp and I haven't been on staff, but I've really enjoyed the last two weeks just staying here and seeing this view every day. Hallelujah.